One of the most important decisions in a man's life that he will make, if not the most, is the type of woman or women he chooses to invest his time, resources, and energy into. The vast majority of men get into relationships and situations with women because they want consistent sex. Or she looks really good, she's very appealing, you want some arm candy. So you go sign a blind contract and you overlook all her flaws. And when you sign that contract, you realize, man, this is totally lopsided. What did I just get myself into? After she breaks and breaches that contract and she goes her separate ways, now you're stuck with all the negatives. Now you're stuck with all the baggage and you have to pick up the pieces while she goes on to the next guy to hopefully signs a bad deal. Women are used car salesmen. They, will, they don't want you to check under the hood and say, hmm, and question her. They don't want you to ask yourself these three questions. And these are the most important questions you need to ask yourself when you decide that you want to start dating or get into a relationship with a woman. Number one, what am I getting out of this deal? What is she bringing to the table? Because if she's not bringing anything and she's just saying, well, I am the table or I'm just going to bring sex, or I just got to show up and do makeup, and, and all I got to do is look good for you. That's not enough. What a woman needs to start bringing is some sort of resources. You can't just be out there spending all this money, buying her different things, taking her on different trips, and it's basically 95% of you spending, and the 5% that she spends is on food, and she's going to eat most of the food, right? So you got to make sure that she's putting into the pot, that she doesn't just have her hand in the cookie jar all the time, withdrawing snacks and eating off you. Because this is why women leave guys so fast. Women don't leave guys uh, very fast if they invest into the guy, into the situation. So look back at all the relationships that you've been in or if you're in one right now. Ask yourself, how much is she bringing to the table? What am I spending? How, how much am I uh, shoveling out? How much money am I spending per week? Every time we get together, are we always going out? Am I always paying? Does she ever offer any time to pay? Or is it just all on you? Is all the weight on your shoulders? That's the first question. The second question you need to ask yourself is, what is her relationship like with her father? Because if it's not good or if it's non-existent, What's going to happen is it's going to be bad between you guys. And I'll explain. Because a lot of guys think that, well, her father wasn't there, so that's not her fault. Right. That's probably not her fault. But at the same time, that can have bad ramifications on you guys' situation. So what will happen is she'll be disrespecting you down the line. She'll be basically telling you, you know, I don't need no man. Now, she might not say this verbatim, but what's going to happen is she's going to show you through her actions. She's going to be walking out on you. She's going to be talking bad about her father or why her dad wasn't there. So what do you think she's going to do if you potentially have a child with her or start a family? Because her upbringing, how it was rooted in her when she was raised by her single mother, that, oh, you don't need a man. You can do it all on your own, girl. It's okay. So she'll eventually, I guarantee you, she'll take the kid or your children away because how she was raised she was taught that you don't need a, a father in a household. Look, see, you made it out all right, girl, right? So make sure that she has some sort of a good relationship with her father. And she sees her father often, not once a year or once every uh, you know, couple years or something like that or three times a year. She needs to be interacting with him monthly, weekly. Because if she's not, that's a bad sign to come. Because what she's got to do with you She's going to be saying, you know, uh, my, my kids don't need a father. These kids don't need a dad because I grew up fine. All right. The third and final question that you need to ask a woman and ask yourself is how does her friends and family view me? This is huge because her friends and family have a say so basically over her life. Because women are all about the hive mindset. They like to uh, get approval from other people. And her friends and family came before you. Matter of fact, they're going to be there after you. As crazy as it's going to sound. And they look for approval. They look uh, for, to their friends to make decisions for them. So I'll give you an example. Let's say her female friends, she has three of them. And all three of them are single. They're always in and out of relationships. 
and they can never have a guy that they're going to stick with and nothing really works long term for those uh, girlfriends that she has. If you guys happen to get in a relationship, what do you think is going to happen? Birds of a feather flock together, correct? So her friends are going to be talking to her, telling her all these negative things saying, oh, girl, you should come out with us and uh, come party with us and have a girl's night out and, and oh, you know, come hang out with us. Let's, let's be single, you know, let, let's, so, and her friends are gonna be jealous of you. Trust me, I've been there. And a lot of my clients that I've had, they've been there as well. They've been with these girls and then their friends try to uh, manipulate them and say, well, just come out with us. Just go on these girl trips with us. And we all know what happens on girls trips or girls nights out things get, you know, kind of freaky, right? So that's very important. Her friends will try to say, hey, you should become single or she, they'll try to talk dirt behind your back. It always happens. They'll try to say, well, you know, your boyfriend, you know, you don't have to be with him. I'm telling you, you should stay single because you got to understand women like to go to other people to talk about different issues. They like, you know, to gossip. That's just part of being a female. So as far as us men, we just, you know, kind of keep things uh, internally and we or we look for the solutions. What a woman does, she goes to her friends. She goes to her family. So if her family uh, has, you know, uh, an issue with you for whatever reason, what's going to happen is their family is going to start trying to turn her against you. And who do you think she's going to choose ultimately in the end? She's going to choose her family, her mother, her father, her sister, her cousins. Because that's who matters to her. That's her network. Even though she might care about you or love you, guess who comes first? Guess who has basically the ultimate say-so over her life? Her family, her friends, because she wants to impress her friends. She just doesn't want to say, well, I got a boyfriend. She wants her friends to say, oh, your boyfriend is cool. Your boyfriend is cute. Your boyfriend is nice. He's fun to be around. Or your boyfriend is kind of mean. I don't like him. I don't like how he dresses. I don't like how he, all this stuff like that. Too many instances happen where women rely on their friends and family for decisions, right? Even if they're going to go on a date with you, right? For the first time, she's going to ask her friend, so should I go out with him? Is he cute? Uh, you know, it, should, and then if their friends say, uh, no, I don't think so. Guess what? A lot of the times, most of the times, their friends are going to have a big issue with you. And then her she's going to decline and say, well, I can't make it. I, and she's going to flake on you. <laughs> Trust me, this is why a lot of guys get flaked on. But that's a different story, right? For another video. So make sure you got these three questions in line. Number one, what is she bringing to my life? What is she bringing to the table, right? What am I benefiting? Number two, make sure that her father is in the picture because if he is not, and I'm talking about her biological father, not her stepdad, or, and, and make sure he's there often and she goes to see him, hangs up, out with him. Also, make sure that she's saying positive things about him because if she's around him and she, she leaves, she says, oh, I'm so tired of him I'm, and all this stuff and stuff like that, that just goes to show you that she really doesn't value the most important man that's in her life. So why would she even value you or your opinion? And number three, how is your relationship with her friends and family? Because that is key. If your relationship is bad and, and, and kind of rocky and when you go over to family reunions or different picnics or gatherings and, and they don't really look at you or acknowledge you and, and you're just there eating food and, and they just look at you kind of sly and awkward and, you know, they're just here. Here's, you know, here's her boyfriend and they just say hi and bye and they don't, or they don't even say bye to you at all. Listen, that's a huge red flag. I'm telling you. So make sure you ask yourself these three questions before you get into a relationship with a woman. Because that will tell you everything you need to know about her, about you, and about the future that you could potentially have with her.